Welcome back to Stamping at the Warren. I'm Kim Tolton and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in um, Battlesbridge in Essex in the UK. And today, although this is part of my seven day series of cards that I'm casing from the um, current 2015 to 16 Stamping Up catalogue, um, this is a slight deviation away from that um, and it's I did have another card lined up to use hopeful thoughts stamp set with but it was a little bit too complicated for what I'm aiming for this week which is to give you some really quick and simple cards to make and unfortunately every card maker needs to have at least one stock card in their repertoire that is suitable for when people experience loss in their lives we don't like to think about it particularly but it's a fact of life and this particular card is my stock card that I use for such occasions um, I always have some in stock and I you know if anybody ever turns up on my doorstep or rings me up and says please please have you got a sympathy card and this is what I can make if it's for a gentleman I would do it almost completely in neutrals maybe just keeping a little bit of the greens in there but taking the pinks out um, and I can make these up incredibly quickly in less than for for me in less than five minutes I can make this card if you're a complete complete novice it might take you um, possibly 10 to 15 minutes to make it but the more practice you have the quicker you get now the supplies that we're using today are as you see on my um, grid paper here there's the soft suede classic ink pad there is the hopeful thought stamp set and there is three markers um, and these are Stamping Up Stamping Right markers and I've got Pear Pizzazz and Blushing Bride which come from the uh, Suttles collection and then I've the neutral I've gone with today is Soft Suede because it has a similar muted tone to the other two markers that I'm using but obviously that comes from the neutrals collection so the, and the technique that we're using today is marker to stamp so this is a way of stamping without necessarily using an ink pad I'm using the ink pad just for the sentiment because it gives a slightly crisper sentiment and you'll see the difference because I've used a marker for the sentiment here um, and I'm going to be using an ink pad later on now this card gets its interest by having some um, scored lines and it is matte the layers are matte onto whisper white so the card base is whisper white the first layer is whisper white and the second layer is whisper white but with stamping dimensionals in between each of those layers to create lift and interest right so let's get started so I don't waffle on too long for you the first thing to do as always is to make your card base and it's a standard A6 card base made from the thicker A4 Whisper White cardstock from Stamping Up um, fab quality which is why I use it you want to trim your um, cardstock to 21 centimeters by 14.8 centimeters and then the long side you want to do a score line down at 10.5 centimeters um, and then fold away from the indented score towards the ridge fold it in half and burnish that fold with your bone folder and then pop that to one side your next layer measures 14.4 centimeters by 10.1 centimeters um, and all we're doing with this one 
is we're going to turn it over we're going to add some stamping dimensionals so this is just a tad just four millimeters smaller than um, the actual card base it's a very narrow borders on the mat a mat just means layer as with most most professions and most most crafts we have our own lingo and our own language um, so that when we're talking about things we we understand what we're all saying and this just goes down straight on top of your card base we're not stamping on this or anything so that just goes straight down pop that going to one side the panel you're going to be stamping on is another panel of Whisper White cardstock and this time it measures 14 centimetres by 9.7 centimetres. Now when you do your trimming you may notice that there's a, a slightly raised edge and that's where the blade cuts. So try to cut your cardstock so that you don't flip it over so it's all done on the same side and then you can simply make sure that the slightly rougher inside edge is face down on the card um, and that way it doesn't show up at all. I'm using from the um, Hopeful Thought stamp set, I'm using the flower um, tree. If it was a gentleman, I would probably use what I call the sheltering tree. It just seems more like that to me. So for the ladies, I use this one and that's what I'm using today. To start off, I've, I try to do things as logic. what makes logic to me, but what makes logic to me might not make logic to you. So as you practice, you will find your own rhythm and your own methods, um, and that's part of becoming experienced. So I'm going to just start with a soft suede stamping right marker, and all the stems, I'm just going to run the brush tip of the stamping right marker along all of those stems even where it falls in between flowers and leaves just so we get some of those muted neutral tones going on in there if you have a job in under your standard lights you might want to invest in you can get magnifying lights um, and you can get daylight light bulbs which you can fit in so if you're having a craft room do bear those things in mind and it will give you slightly better light so that's the soft suede we do two of these one on top of the other but just marked slightly apart always use the brush tip with when you're doing this technique it gives a much more uniform and softer look to the whole project. So now I'm using Blushing Bride marker with all the flowers. Just a little circular motion, trying to remember where all the flowers go. And then finally the Pear Pizzazz marker for the leaves. When you do this enough, you um, you do get to learn where all the different stamps are, so where the leaves are and where the flowers are, and it kind of gets ingrained in your memory and you just do it automatically. So then you come to do a video and suddenly you're having to concentrate on it. So instead I'm yakkering away to you to distract myself. Don't forget this one tiny little one there that's all on its own soon. Right, here's the important part. Because it's taken a bit of time to ink that up, you just need to give a really big huff on the stamp and that will rehydrate it. <sighs> there you go. And then stamp your first tree. There you go. And then we just repeat that 
and I always go in the same order um, perhaps it just makes me very OCD I suspect that's the case really um, but it just seems logical to me so that's why I do it and then I tend not to forget what I'm doing so this is going to give the effect of more leaves, more flowers I always think stamping markers, stamping right markers are a great way to get started um, and then once you feel ready you can move on to using ink pads as you gain your confidence and that way you don't outlay large amounts but to be honest I can usually get people doing a fairly good stamping technique within their first class when they come to me in class now the flowers Have you noticed that my my girls are quiet today, my pygmy goats? That's because Dada has just gone down to feed them. I think it's coming up to about 8 o'clock at night now. And uh, tomorrow's my day for cleaning out the guinea pigs and the goats. My husband does the rabbits. So I'm trying to get as much work done. So I have to sort of do two days work in one day. On a Tuesday just to make up. Not that I can, I'm complaining. I love being in my craft room. It's like a haven to me. I could hide in here all the time. It becomes very addictive. Very, very addictive. Right, there we go. So half again. And this time we're going to offset the second tree. So we go up or down. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go up here this time. So each card will always be unique and depending on how you feel or depending on how it comes out. I mean, I'm using the Sharing in Your Sorrow stamp um, and remember when you're starting out to have your rubber of the stamp facing upwards when you ink it up. And I'm going to go yeah. There you go. So can you see the difference between the quality of that image and this image? And that's the difference between um, this is the marker and this is the stamp ink the uh, ink pad. Right, the next job is to do some scoring. So I'm just going to move these bits to one side. And I'm using my scoring tool with the metric plate. And you want the, I um, don't know if you can get that in this shot, but I've got the short side at the top of the scoring board. So the metric plate is separate make sure you've got it wedged right up and in the corner so you don't get wonky lines then I'm just going to do some um, parallel lines and leave a gap where there's writing and just sort of follow the lines across one two and three There you go. 
simple as that. I just make sure I keep a good grip on the cardstock at the top end to make sure the board doesn't go walk about and neither does the card. Pop some more stamping dimensionals on the back of this panel. Bring in our card front. Take off these sticky pads. And that goes down on top of the other layer, top of the other mat. And there's your card, all done. I hope you've enjoyed that um, technique and today's card. I'd love you to share on my Pinterest board. Um, I've got a community board on there, so if you go to my blog and scroll down to each day's post, you'll see a link that will take you straight to the community board. And you can, once you start following that board, I'll send you an invitation to start pinning on there and you can share your own makes um, on there. Don't be scared, don't don't think it's got to be great quality. Just get stamping, just get having some fun and enjoy participating in our community group page. Okay, um, visit me at my blog at www.stampingatthewarren.blogspot.co.uk All the details are in the further information just below the video um, including email addresses and everything and also a link to my online store where you can buy all your supplies when you're ready 24 hours a day i'll speak to you soon and um ta-ta for now <laughs>